both the U.S. and Iran are uh, dealing in uh, sectarian politics in Iraq by supporting a sort of sectarian uh, Shiite regime. So uh, their hands aren't really clean uh, in that regard at all. Uh, and I don't know, maybe it's domestic politics in Iran when they uh, begin to cooperate with the U.S. There's some pushback and a, and a, a need to uh, double uh, uh, bemoan U.S. Uh, participation a bit. Okay, well, we also spoke to, uh, NBC spoke to the uh, Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and he says working with Iran would be a huge mistake. Well, uh, working with Iran makes sense insofar as uh, they have the same objectives we do in Iraq. I think the wisdom of uh, supporting the Iraqi government does not depend on who's helping us do so. It depends on whether or not what we're doing there uh, produces an end state that's conducive to U.S. interests, and that's where I worry. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, strengthening the regime running Iraq is in U.S. interest, and I certainly don't think it's in our interest to an extent that we want to uh, spend more blood and treasure there. Yeah, Benjamin, so I was going to ask you, what is the alternative here? I mean, what is the uh, solution? Uh, militants continue to gain ground in Iraq over running a second military post on the uh, Syrian border, and they are within striking distance of Baghdad. So, you know, what can the U.S. do? Well, there's a lot we can do. Uh, we could use uh, our own air power. Uh, we could send in, obviously, a larger contingent of uh, troops. Uh, but whether or not we should do those things, obviously, is, is another question. And I think, you know, it's important to keep in mind uh, that the enemy in Iraq, this uh, ISIS militia, is only part of the problem. It's a Sunni insurgency that involves uh, a number of groups, including some uh, awakening militias that we help train and arm. So uh, the question we need to be asking the U.S., I think, is whether or not we want to be on the Shiite side of the Iraqi civil war and why that's in U.S. interests. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, the U.S. has uh, interesting politics there in the Middle East. Uh, but Benjamin, you know, some would say it, basically Baghdad is Shia military backed with, uh, of course, al-Maliki, the prime minister in Iraq, still in, in place. But to, if you remove him, is there any way to get the Sunni part of the insurgency back on side? Well, that, that's what we're attempting right now. I think the U.S. has made it fairly clear that they'd like to see a, a government formed around a different leader, even if it's from uh, Maliki's bloc, the idea being that uh, another leader would produce less animus among the Sunni population and splinter some of these other groups, the less militant ones, off from the insurgency in Iraq. Uh, and that's a decent theory, but I think it's important to keep in mind that if we in the U.S. really knew how to run Iraq, how it ought to be governed, then uh, the situation in Iraq would be a lot better. So I think we got to be modest about uh, what we know and what we can accomplish when it comes to the best path to make Iraq stable and peaceful. Okay.